Jello, I can't tell if that's a backdrop or is that real life? What? Because, you know, everybody <laughs> in Zoom. No, this is real. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, yeah. I need. Your actual backdrop. Your background is my backdrop when I do Zoom now. Let me soak it in right quick. Chris Kid. For me to just to say singer, actress, producer, uh, entertainer, it's not even enough. Global icon is joining us, Jennifer Lopez. Hi. Wow. What are you um, doing? First of all, it's so good to so good to talk to you. I know uh I mean, I wish this was in person, but this is kind of like where we're at. That's one thing that I think COVID-19, a pandemic was opened up new ways for all of us to connect, to communicate. And um, I'm just excited that this moment can happen. And we're coming out of the pandemic. You got new music on the way. Uh, let's talk about the new single. Cambio La Paz. Yes. So we're excited for it. July 5th. Let's go. I know. I'm super excited for it. You know, I am. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys know Rao Alejandro, but he's yes. this amazing artist. And uh, he asked me to do a record for him. Just ran. I've just been in the studio, just working on a lot of music since I got back from the Dominican Republic. I was shooting a movie down there. Came back, was super inspired. I was like, I want to be in the studio. I want to be working on music. Just got in, started doing a bunch of stuff. They said, Oh, this, this is somebody. If you if you if you are into doing music right now, like there's this kid Rao who wants you to do his record called Tu Latienes. Sent it to me. I loved it. I did it. I was down in Miami. And they were like, he's here. He, if, did you finish the record? I said, yeah. He goes, you both are in Miami. He'd love to come by and see you and hear the record. I said, okay. So he came by. I played him the vocals on his record. And he was like, oh, my God, I love it. You know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's so nice to meet you, whatever. I said, let me play you something else I have that I'm working on. I played him Cambio el Paso. And uh, he was like, well, I can get on that one too. <laughs> you know? and I was like, okay. I said, well, you got to do it right now. Can you do it right now? And he's like, yeah, I can do it right now. He takes off his jacket. He had a plane to catch, postponed the plane, got on it. Hour or two later, I was like, send it to the record company the next morning. I was like, we need to put this out right now. I love this. This is amazing. This is a moment. This is summer. This is right now. And uh, the rest is history. You know, two weeks later, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's how it happens. It happens, boom, like that, fast. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and I wanted to ask you about choosing uh, the people that become a part of your project because you've always uh, been kind of on the forefront. You know what's next. Like, uh, there's such a good wave right now. You know, I remember a couple of years ago where Bad Bunny was saying that he wanted to work with you or you work with him. Yeah. And you guys, uh, uh, let's talk about like Tiny, uh, Lunai. I mean, there's just... Um, so many new artists that are kind of coming up and they're, they're, they're taking reggaeton. They're taking like Bali funk. They're taking drum and bass yeah. and they're putting yeah. all these different styles together. Your, your, your new project is going to be all in Spanish, I believe. Right. What I'm working on right now is music period. So I'm doing okay. lots of Spanish music. I'm doing lots of English music. I don't know what's going to happen next. What I have in the can right now, like what I have done is the one I did with Maluma, the album I did with Maluma is done and that's an that's a spanglish album it's english and spanish be out in february with the movie that we did together right right so that'll right. be in february but right now yeah i'm working on a lot of spanish music it's just what i feel right now um so yeah that's where this came from well and and i think music is in a place where it's not just this genre this genre or you have to no. be in this box and you know that because your career is built on uh just ev evolving and evolution and reaching so many different all people. outside yeah. the line yeah. Yeah. When yeah. You, when you come to my show, it's like we do the funk section and we do the hip hop section and we do the dance section and we do the Latin section. And we do like I have always dabbled in all different kinds of music. I've never put myself in a box. And I think right now the exciting thing for me with Spanish music it has become real global music. Only like how English music used to be. Right. Like English was international. Like you can have an English song be a hit in Germany, be a hit on the other side of the world. Right now, I feel like Spanish music is like that. And uh, it has been such an amazing, mind-blowing thing for me to see that happen. Because when I came into the music scene back in the day with, you know, there was the Latin explosion. If right, was, right, right. He and Mark Anthony and Enrique and Ricky and Shakira. And it, and it was just a group of us. And Don't forget Mambo number five. Mambo that was a huge <laughs> record too during that time massive massive yeah. record and all of us 
And it was different then. It was like, oh, look at these exotic artists from here. But I knew, always knew, and all of us always knew how much we had to offer and how diverse our rhythms were and how diverse, you know, our genres were just within the Spanish, you know, language music. And people thought it was this one thing. And now they see it's urban, it's ballads, it's so many different rhythms that we have from so many different countries um, that to see it become so global for me is such a pleasure. And to be able to still participate with the younger, uh, with the younger artists, the newer artists, and still stick to the roots of all the different things that, that make me who I am is what's exciting. Because you're right, music is so uh, limitless right now. You can really mix so many different things. J-Lo, let's just give them a little bit right now. Remember, single is out Monday, <laughs> July 5th. Introduce it. Cambia el paso with Rao Alejandro. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Um, if you feel like dance, dance, dancing, <laughs> it's your record for the summer. Uh, real quick, two things, two things. I know we're limited on time. Yeah. Uh, the meaning behind the song, I, I, there's obviously a couple of different meanings everywhere. Everyone can go with it. But I think what I'm gathering here is that coming out of COVID, uh, maybe you were in a relationship, maybe you weren't. Uh, time to make a little change, a step, a little new direction. Um, yeah. But that's just me thinking out loud. Uh, what's your inspiration behind it? What, what, what was your vibe here? For, definitely for me, it was about change. The song is about change and not being afraid to take the step. Like, just take the step advance, do what you need to do. If something's not feeling right, whatever it is in your life, like just make that move and dance. For me, because I started as a dancer, to me, dance is life and joy and happiness. So whenever I'm talking about dance, it's, I'm talking about something else. All she wants to do is just dance, 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 dance again. You got to live. You got to be yourself. You got to be happy. And that's what the record's about. Yeah, you know, I love that. J-Lo, uh, this is Pitbull's Globalization. So we have this thing called the Pitbull Experience. I know you guys have collaborated multiple times in the past, but there's got to be one story that or one moment that sticks out the most that this is your ultimate Pitbull experience. What would that be? Oh, my God, there's so many. I know, I know. It's hard to choose. Oh, my God. I mean, I would have to say the World Cup. When we did the World Cup together. That was a lot of fun. I mean, I remember us both being kind of under this, like, uh, like almost like a flag that they were like hiding us under. And we were like going to the middle of the field. And he was like, can you fucking believe this? I was like, I know it's crazy. Um, you know, it was just amazing. I mean, we've had so many amazing moments together. Um, probably one of my biggest songs ever we did, which is on the floor um, that kind of bought me back into the public eye after I had my kids and got married and I was just like a new moment. So he will always represent kind of the new generation of my music for me. Uh, he was amazingly fucking on fire at the time. And, uh, and he, and he got on my record and I really appreciated that because I hadn't made records for a few years and, uh, and that was a big deal for me. So I always have so much love in my heart for Pitt. Man, much love right there. JLo, we're going to close like Thank this. You. I only have two hundred dollars to donate to a charity. I wish I had more to do this, but I will make this donation on your behalf. If you can name all eight people, these are living and gone legends, though, on the wall behind me. I'm going to back up real quick. You should be able to see. Oh, my God. Um, OK, Cantiflas, Marilyn, yes. wow. <laughs> Bruce Lee, Martin Luther King, Pedro. Ale, um, Pedro Fernandez, um, Bob Marley, and um, Queen, Freddie Mercury. It is, it, it is Freddie Mercury. This gentleman right here, though, Vicente Fernandez. Why did I say yeah, Freddie? yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. I'm doing it. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Because all I could think of was his son, Alejandro, and I knew it wasn't Alejandro. I'm good. I'm good. You know, I knew who it was. I know. I know. You're good. You're good. Two hundred dollars. Which charity do you want it to go to? Do you have one off top? I think the Boys and Girls Club of America, for sure. I'm a hey. person there with Denzel Washington. I, they really helped shape me as a performer when I was coming up. And the Boys and Girls Club of America is is probably probably could use every all the help they could get because they do so much. They do so much for so many kids in the hood in yeah. neighborhoods like I grew up. 
Definitely, definitely. Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I know our time has expired. Don't forget July 5th, that is this Monday, the new single, Cambia El Paso. J-Lo! I love you. Much love. Thank you, Crisco.